This is a black history poem written and recited by Smokey Robinson. Um, throughout this poem, uh, Smokey Robinson uses a racial slur, the N word on multiple occasions. And although he uses it in a very educational and contextually appropriate manner, um, I am uncomfortable with using that word, um, especially on this platform. Um, therefore, every time that I get to a part where he uses the N-word, I'll be replacing that word with the word Negro. So just understand here again, contextually, as I recite this poem, anytime I use the word Negro, uh, Smokey Robinson was actually using um, the N-word. That said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I love being black. I love being called black. I love being an American. I love being a black American. But as a black man in this country, I think it's a shame that every few years we get a change of name. Since those first ships arrived here from Africa that came across the sea, there were already black men in this country who were free. And as for those who came over on those terrible boats, they were called Negro and slave and told what to do and how to behave. Then master started tripping, doing his midnight tipping down to the slave shacks where he forced he and great great grandma to be together. And if great great grandpa protested, he got tarred and feathered. And at the same time, those black men in the country who were free, they were mating with the tribes like the Apache and the Cherokee. And as a result of all that, we're a parade of every shade. And in this late day and age, you could be sure ain't too many of us in this country whose bloodline is pure. But according to a geological, geographical genealogy study published in Time magazine, the black African people were the first on the scene. So for what is worth, the black African people were the first on Earth. And through migration, our characteristics started to change and rearrange to adapt to whatever climate we migrated to. And that's how I became me and you became you. So if we're gonna go back, then let's go all the way back. And if Adam was black and Eve was black, then that kind of makes it a natural fact. Everybody in America is an African-American. Everyone in Europe is an African-European. Everyone in the Orient is an African-Asian and so on and so on. That is if the origin of man is what we're gonna go on. And if one drop of black blood makes you black like they say, then everybody's black anyway. So quit trying to change my identity. I'm already who I was meant to be. I'm a black American born and raised. And brother James Brown wrote a wonderful phrase, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Because I'm proud to be black and I ain't never lived in Africa. And just because my great, great, great granddaddy on my daddy's side did, don't mean I want to go back. Now, I have nothing against Africa. It's where some of the most beautiful places and people in the world are found. But I've been blessed to travel a lot of places in this world. And if you're asking me where I choose to live, I'm picking America, hands down. Now, by and by, we were called Negro. After a while, that name was banished. Anyway, Negro is just how you say black in Spanish. Then we were called Colored. But heck, everybody's one color or another. And I think it's a shame that we hold that against each other. Because it seems we reverted back to a time where being called black was an insult. Even if it was another black man who said it, a fight would result. Because we had been so brainwashed that black was wrong, that even the yellow Negroes and the black Negroes couldn't get along. Then came the 1960s where we struggled and died to be called equal and black. And we walk with pride with our heads held high and our shoulders pushed back and black was beautiful. But I guess that wasn't good enough because then here they came with some other stuff. Who came up with this mess in anyway? Was it one or a group of Negroes sitting around one day? just feeling a little insecure again about being called black. I guess they felt being called African-American sounded a little more exotic. Well, I think they were being a little more neurotic. It's that same mentality that got Amos and Andy put off the air because they were embarrassed about the way the character spoke. 
And as a result of that action, a lot of wonderful black actors ended up broke. Well, we were only laughing and joking and having fun about ourselves. So I say, forget you if you can't take a joke. You didn't see the Beverly Hillbillies being protested by white folk. And if you think that cause you think that being called African-American is going to set all black people's minds at ease. Since we are affectionately calling each other Negro, I affectionately say to you, Negro, please. How come I didn't get a chance to vote on who I'd like to be? Who gave you the right to make that decision for me? I'm not under your rule and your dominion, and I'm entitled to my own opinion. Now, there are some African-Americans here, but they just recently moved here from places like Kenya, Ethiopia, Zimbabwe, and Zaire. But not a brother whose family has lived here for generations, occupying space in all the locations, New York, LA, Baltimore, Detroit, Chicago, even if he is wearing a daishiki or sporting an afro. And if you go back to Africa and search your race, you'll find out quick, you're not an African-American. You're just a black American in Africa taking up space. Why you keep trying to attach yourself to a continent? If you had a chance to go and you went, most people over there wouldn't even claim you as one of them, as a purebred daughter or son of them. No, your heritage is right here, right now, regardless of what you call yourself or what you say. And a lot of people die to make it that way. And if you're so convinced that America is so bad and it's the leader of inequality and suffering and grieving, then tell me this. How come there's so many people coming and so few leaving? Rather than finding all this fault with America, should you promote? If you really want to change something, use your privilege. Get to the polls and vote. Lord knows we've earned the right to be called American-American and be free at last. But rather than moving forward, a lot of us still dwelling in the past. We've struggled for too long and we've come too far. So instead of focusing on who we were, can we just be proud of who we are? We're the only people whose name is always a trend. When is this mess going to end? Look at all the different colors of our skin. Black is not our color, it is our core. It's what we've been living, fighting, and dying for. But should you still choose after all this to be called African-American, and that is your preference, then I'll give you that reference. But I know on this issue, I do not stand alone. And if I do, then let me be me. And I would appreciate it that when you see me, you say, there goes a man who says it loud. I'm black. I am a black American and I am proud. Because I love being black. I love being called black. Yeah, I said it. And I don't take it back. Smokey Robinson.